All right, and next we have Leo rising and sun. So this Scorpio new moon is happening on November 13th in your fourth house. And it is a little bit of an erratic kind of volatile full moon or new moon. Oh my God. I've been saying full moon. I've been saying eclipses. So is a new moon, which is when the sun and the moon are together in the sign of Scorpio and the sky is kind of dark. So during this period of time, like I've been saying, it's a little bit erratic because Mars is conjunct this new moon and Mars is also opposite Uranus. And both of these planets are also squaring Black Moon Lilith in your first house. So there's definitely something here that is very significant for you in particular. And I actually think it has a lot to do with your own identity around your creativity and kind of like your creative goals and your vision for yourself. As a Leo rising, typically you guys are musicians or your actors or your writers or your teachers, but you usually have some kind of creative essence to you or um, like hobbies or things that feel like they bring you back to your childlike playful essence. So things that tap into all of your natural gifts that feel like they are um, in a flow with what you're really good at and again your creativity and they feel like they just bring you joy and ease and it's something that you just love to do. So that area of your life um, needs to be further explored but I feel like you guys might have some limitations around your own perception of your gifts or your own identity and the way that you pursue those gifts. So the reason I say that is because this moon in Scorpio in the fourth house with Mars there has a little bit of like, um, like if you have stayed inside of your comfort zone, it's really trying to have you examine why. And there's usually things within the fourth house that are rooted into our deep emotional nature and our past. So is there a reason why you are afraid to like be seen and put yourself out there or be very confident in your skills or try to market yourself or take a certain risk on yourself? For example, Mars and Scorpio wants you to examine the emotional underpinnings of why you might be coloring within the lines instead of taking chances. And this is a a new moon in the fourth house. So it's almost like it's trying to reset your comfort zone. It's trying to expand your potential. And it's not that you're not going to have a comfort zone or that you're just going to um, completely disregard that, but it's that you are widening those edges. So it's like if you, let's say your home was your comfort zone, your home is getting bigger and you're able to go to more places or it becomes your neighborhood and then you get to walk around your whole neighborhood and that's your comfort zone. So it's like taking a step forward. So if you have a creative venture, maybe you're promoting yourself or you're um, going out more on social media, but there's something around your identity, your perception of yourself, your reputation, your image, your physical appearance even, that is needing to kind of get this like glow up or this expansion or take a risk or take a step forward in that area of your life to push yourself out there. But there's shadows and fears and things like that that have kept you maybe small or have kept you... Um, like, I don't know, the word present came to me. Maybe you're just like super present um, that you're not thinking enough about your future and kind of where you're going. You're like, oh, I'm getting lost in this creative thing and it's so fun. But then there's something, I guess, equally important about thinking about your plan and how you're going to build this thing into something more significant or how um, – it can work for your long-term purpose in life or increase your reputation in the world or get you a better job or um, become your new career if it's a creative hobby, for example. It's almost like you're too present and you need to um, awaken your ability to take risks on yourself and identify yourself differently. So it's like becoming more... Um, definitely becoming more confident and getting out of like a lack mentality. Um, if you have had, if you have had like 
I, I just feel like with the the nine of swords, you kind of get in your own way. You kind of get in your own head. And with the five of swords, five of pentacles in reverse, I think that this you're coming out of this like lack mentality, this scarcity mentality of I can't do this, I can't be good at that, or um, I'm scared to promote myself in this way, uh, whatever it is, even if it's more physical, even. But there's some I I feel like it's creative, so that can express itself in any avenue of life, but. I feel like you guys have not fully like p pushed yourself and put yourself out there. And what this is trying to tell you is like keep working hard, keep mastering the skill, like keep doing the work that you need to do, especially with Mars and Scorpio. We're focused on that. We're focused on what we actually need um, to do to be successful at something. But then there's more to it than that. There's additional layers of work that I feel like you're avoiding with the eight of pentacles and the strength card it's having the courage to master other levels and other skills that are necessary for you to become advanced in something or to have this become a part of your future success so that let's say for example you want to be um an artist and you have been painting and you've been painting and been painting and you're doing it for fun well maybe you master the skill of videoing and you start videoing yourself paint and then um you start mastering teaching how you paint and then you put those you know you you speak into videos and you teach how to paint and you put it on youtube and then you master how to you know make yourself explode on the algorithm on youtube and so it's like you're taking these steps one thing at a time and becoming more skillful in these other areas that will help you have a plan to utilize this creative skill or this thing that brings you joy this innate gift of yours in a way that's helpful for your long term and i think that this could bring unexpected breaks at random times for you because you are being consistent and working on these skills that you are prepared and then when preparation meets opportunity, success happens. So I think random opportunities will come to you as a result of taking these chances on yourself. And with this spider card, it's really saying that you are weaving the web of your future. Like you can have abundance. You can pursue this in interest of yours and this um, thing that feels easy for you, this natural gift of yours. You can make that your career. You can make that a huge part of your life and your dharma. But I think it's important to focus on the process of it, not focus on, oh, I'm going to be such a successful artist and everybody's going to know me. It's like you need to, in some ways, it's helpful to be present when you're mastering these skills. And then in other ways, it's helpful to have a plan. So it's like, okay, that's my ultimate goal, but what's my plan on getting there and developing those skills and staying engaged in the process and focus on the process rather than fame, for example, or rather than reaching a certain amount of subscribers, focusing on the process of how do I get better at being a YouTuber? How do I get better at making videos and editing? Or how do I get better at my art and teaching? It's like focusing on that will actually get you to your goal rather than trying to be overly obsessed with um, the dream of it, essentially. And I think, again, there's a lot of, there's probably a lot of like personal limiting beliefs that could come up um, that keep you inside of your comfort zone that you might not be fully aware of and that even could come from family members or even where you live that might feel like they, um, you're like, I don't live in the wrong, I don't live in the right place or I don't, whatever. Um, but I feel like you're healing a lot of that during this period of time. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Leo. Um, feels like a very exciting time where you can get out of this kind of rut and you can expand to another level in something that you are already talented at and something that you already really enjoy. It's like fully embracing it and giving it 110% and realizing that you have this capability, but you just haven't advanced yet because there are maybe other skills that you need to learn and perfect and you need to step outside of that comfort zone in order to be able to do that. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want a 2024 forecast, I am going through month by month and breaking down everything that you can expect and how to best handle that energy, maybe what to kind of avoid doing or what to do to take advantage of all of this um, you know, positivity or difficulty, for example. 
and um, I will be pulling cards. So it's a very extensive process. It's at least an hour and a half reading. So I won't have time to do too many before the year starts. So if you want that, I will have a limited quantity available down below and I hope to see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Bye.